Now we're going to talk about the locative case in Turkish. The locative case is a set of endings which you can attach directly to a noun or pronoun that is the equivalent of the English expression on, in, or at. So, for example, if we want to say at home or in the house, we'll attach the locative case ending directly to the noun house or home. Let's look at how we're going to do it. So we'll start with the Turkish word for home or house, ev. And we'll attach the locative case ending directly to the noun ev. The locative case follows the rules of two-way vowel harmony. So for ev, we're going to say ev de. Ev de, at home or in the house, ev de. What about if we want to say on the table? Still going to use the locative case ending. So, it's a Turkish word for table, masa. Because of the rules of four-way vowel harmony, we're going to choose not de for masa, but masa da. Masa da on the table. Turkish consonants divide into what are called voiced and voiceless consonants. Voiceless consonants in Turkish include P, T, K, S, Ş, Ç, F, and H. If you want to add the locative case ending to a noun or pronoun that ends in one of these voiceless consonants, you are not going to use da or de, but instead ta or te. These two versions of the locative case ending, ta and te, you'll notice they also begin with one of our voiceless consonants. So, in other words, if you have a noun that ends in a voiceless consonant, like for example the noun bardak, a glass, Okay, one of our voiceless consonants, you're going to choose a version of the locative case ending which not only agrees with bardak in terms of two-way vowel harmony, but which also begins with a voiceless consonant because bardak ends in a voiceless consonant. This is, may sound slightly complicated, it's actually very simple and you'll see it's easier to say this way. So for bardak, we're going to choose bardak Ta, bardak ta, in the glass or on the glass. Notice that bardak ta is a lot easier to say than if we tried to say bardak da or something like that. Bardak ta, voiceless consonant at the end of the noun, voiceless consonant at the beginning of our locative case ending. That's pretty simple. Let's see it once more. Let's say we want to say on the flower. Turkish word for flower, çiçek. We'll chew, we notice that çiçek also ends in a k, one of our voiceless consonants. So we're going to choose a version of the locative case ending that also starts with a voiceless consonant. So of our four options, da, ta, de, and te, for çiçek, to say on the flower, we're going to choose çiçek, te. Çiçek, te, on the flower. That's pretty simple. Now, we can also add the locative case ending to a proper noun, like the name of a person, like if you want to say on bill or something, and to the name of a city. For example, if you want to say in Istanbul, you're going to start with the Turkish word Istanbul, Istanbul. But we want to say in Istanbul, so we're going to add the appropriate version of the locative case ending. Our four-way, excuse me, our two-way vowel harmony rules tell us that for Istanbul, we are going to want da. Notice Istanbul does not end with a voiceless consonant, so we're going to go for da. Istanbul, da. Because Istanbul is a proper noun, 
we have to remember to include a little apostrophe between the noun and the locative case ending.